Hello everyone, this is Mr. El Baronin here again, and today I'm going to be quickly going over the new patch notes for My Hero 1's Justice 2, patch 1.06, and it came out on the 21st or 20th of August. So, it starts off with something that I have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. Regular Deku, um, his Pride Flight, apparently there was a bug where one of his moves called Pride Flight would cancel his buff that he gets after his plus ultra 1, but um, I have no idea what that is, so yeah, just a little bug fix, nothing really big there. For Bakugo, for his Quirk Special 2, so that's his Tilt Quirk 1, where he launches the uh, like string of explosions, it has reduced a knockback, so it doesn't knock the opponent back as far, um, which will make it a bit more punishable, and it also like doesn't you know launch them across the screen like it used to, even when they blocked it. Um, Quirk's, charged Quirk Special 1, so that's you know when he holds down... Here's Quirk 1, and then he does the launches out the little cloud that explodes, and it does a lot of guard damage. And I believe, I've seen a few clips of it, it basically breaks their guard instantly if they block it. So if you manage to place that correctly and they block it, you've broken their guard and you can go in for a full combo. So that's pretty good. And his sidekick is a bit faster. For Uraraka, her Quirk 4, which is her red attack, you know, her tilt, t um, tilt Quirk 2, so where she does that slow um, float move, which makes the opponents fly in the air, and it's red move. Um, basically, it's even slower now, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, shortens the damage, rigidity. Oh, wow. So it has a shorter um, stun time, so it doesn't hold them in the air for as long. And because um, I've read through these before, and rigidity seems to be what they mean for, like, the time that it stuns the opponent for. And higher current speed and tracking performance mid-air. Oh, that's pretty good. So her air tilt quirk too, where she like, I don't know, launches herself at you to make them float a bit, that has better tracking, so that's pretty good. Because it used to whiff quite a bit. And I know it's not listed here, but it is confirmed that she no longer has her loops that she got in the last patch. So I'm happy about that. Some people are like, oh no, now she's bottom tier again. No, she's still great. Okay, for Todoroki, his charged quirk special too. I don't know if that's right, because... Quirk, when they say Quirk Special 2, they mean Tilt Quirk 1, but he can't charge his Tilt Quirk 1, so I think that might mean char Charged Quirk Special 4, his Tilt Quirk 2, where he like holds down the ice and then when he has a charge version he makes a really big one that like stuns the opponent, and increases the combo correction value, so maybe it scales differently or is easier to combo off of. And his sidekick is a little bit supported, not much there. Uh, for Ida, on his counterattacks, they were basically just like slightly damage changes for when he's in his buffed state after his um he does his plus ultra one. So just, you know, does a bit less damage and some different scaling after plus ultra one. And same for his quirk special one. So I guess just a few bug fixes with some of his moves. You know, they do a slightly different damage when he's in his buffed state. Um, Kirishima got nothing. His sidekick's just a bit smaller. I mean, shorter reload time. Tokoyami. Same goes for him, just slight adjustments to his sidekick, better tracking, and they stun them a little bit more. Like, so I guess it just hits more consistently. All Might, um, his target combo adjusts so that it'll... The, adjust to the combo so that it will connect. When derived, I found they mean cancel, so when you cancel it into a counterattack. But you could already do that, so... Don't really know. Maybe off of different buttons, because you could only do it off of the third hit, maybe? You can do it after all of the hits? I don't really know what they're talking about there, if anyone knows. If anyone knows that I've said anything wrong in this, leave the the um, the um fix in the comments down below. I'd, I'd be really interested to see. And by the way, these are the official patch notes by Bandai Namco, and they're pretty weird. <laughs> um, Sidekick attacks, yeah, just ch changed it slightly. It has better tracking. Is, oh, it's a bit slower. It does more damage, more number of hits, and... Okay. Just to the move, take farther in the gun. So it's better in basically every way. It does more damage, more hits, and better tracking, but it's now 10 seconds slower to recharge. Um, Aizawa, um, his Tilt Quirk 1, which is his parry, strengthen the step in when it succeeds... So maybe just does more damage, that attack that he does, the kick. Um, counter attacks, 
decrease the back gap. So when they say back gap, they're referring to the recovery frames. So And recovery frames refer to how long it takes for you to be able to block or do anything after you move. So something that, if it's punishable, and if, if, it, if a move is punishable, that means it has a lot of recovery frames. If it's not punishable, it has very few recovery frames because they can recover after doing the move very quickly. So they can block or something. So an example of quick recovery frames is uh, Maze Tilt Quirk 1 because she's completely unpunishable, but slow recovery frames would be something like Aizawa's Quirk 1 where he puts out the... whatever, <laughs> that, the piece of fabric to grab them. It's very unsafe. But so yeah. Um, his counterattacks, they're less unsafe now, so less recovery frames, and it'll be difficult to be knocked down by successive ground attacks. So maybe it's when, you know, the opponent's in the air, and you hit them with that yellow attack, they get, like, splattered to the ground, um, like, from the first hit, so maybe all three hits will hit now. Side kick attack, um, it's a bit harder to sidestep. Okay. Now, Gran Torino is the interesting one, and definitely the controversial one. So... You can see they had the right, the right idea. So the target combo increased the combo correction value, meaning they've adjusted so it actually scales correctly, because none of his stuff scaled, and that's why he had huge damage combos. His counterattacks do less damage and scale the combos more. Um, let's skip over Quirk Special 1. Uh, <laughs> Charge Quirk, Quirk Special 1 increases the scaling, great. Um, easily forces the opponent to take down. I don't know if that means Meteor Blow or to Wall Splat, but whatever. Quirk Special 3, which is this Quirk 2, increases the scaling of that, which is great because it did not scale, like, at all. And Plus Ultra 1, less damage and more scaling. So, the great, it was, they had the right ideas, you know, he has a lot less damage, and after his moves, he does less damage, like every character. He has scaling in his combos, so that he can't do, like, 70% off of every hit, until this point. <laughs> Can now jump or step when falling from the first stage midair. And um, I'm, you've probably seen this already. There are thousands of, clip of it, clips of it since the patch. But basically, Gran Torino has air infinites now. He, so if you just do a few hits into his um, uh, quirk one in the air, which is where he just, you know, like, dashes at you, he can now just, like, do a jump or a sidestep after it hits and then attack again and then do... So a few attacks into... Um, into that move, sidestep, a few attacks into that move, jump, sidestep, uh, jump, a few attacks into that move. And you can just keep doing that con constantly and, uh, <laughs> and get 70% again. Like, they were so close to doing the right thing and balancing out Gran Torino. Like, keep in mind that none of these things would have made Gran Torino low tier, like, ignoring, like, ignore this one. If all those other nerfs he still would have been a great character. He's got a lot of safety, great mobility, and tons of stuff. He would have been a great character, just a lot more normalized. So he doesn't do, like, ridiculous damage, but he has this still. He's still going to have huge damage and can just, if not even more, because now it's super easy and doesn't cost anything, because you can do it for free. <laughs> but uh, let's move on. All for one. Not much changed. His mid-air counterattacks was tilt stack in the air. Um, it's easier to sidestep, which is, I thought was interesting, but, um, in order to counteract that, his Quirk Special, Quirk Special 4, which is his Tilt Quirk 2, um, easily hits sidestepping opponents, so I guess it has great tracking, and higher turning performance, which is what allows it to be hit sidestepping opponents easily, -er. what? <laughs> but, um, I don't know how I feel about that one, because if you hold that button down, it's a red attack, so you're saying... If he holds that down, he has an unsidesteppable half-screen red attack that, like, reaches from, like, halfway across the map. Mm, not sure how I feel about that one. Might have to do some testing to see if it's as bad as I, it sounds, but we'll move on. Okay, Darby, his Quirk Special 3, which is his um, Quirk 2. So on the ground, it's his, like, flamethrower thing, and in the air, it's where he throws that, like, I don't know, whatever that is. <laughs> that exploding arc ball thing. Um, decreased the back, grab, uh, the back gap of the ground, that sounds dumb, but essentially they mean the flamethrower on the ground it has uh, less recovery frames, so he's actually a lot safer when he does it, which I thought was pretty surprising, because I thought that's how they were balancing it out, because like, if you miss that move, Darby used to get punished a lot, but now, apparently he recro recovers a lot quicker, and he'll probably be able to block by the time you go to punish him if he misses it, so that's interesting. 
extended the reception time of dash cancel midair. Oh yeah, and they, there's a few things about dash cancelling the midair one. So I guess there was just something wrong about when they dash cancelled it. So now it's normalized, and it does the the one in the air does more damage now. Like, why? Darby already did a lot of damage, and now one of his combo extenders in the air does more. Like, okay. And yeah, his sidekick was changed a bit as well. The bullet will cancel one after pushing the sidekick button, so the automatic cancel for the bullet is one to two seconds. Like, okay, I don't really know what they're talking. Well, I guess because he does that thing, so like it comes out and then it gets launched at the opponent. But yeah, just to the speed of the bullet. So yeah, slight change to his sidekick attack. Toga didn't really have anything. Faster sidekick attack. And Quirk Special 1, which is where she throws out the needles. Oh yeah, there was just a bug where when she transforms into the opponent, their controls would be on Quick, or even though she's set to hold. Blah blah blah, nothing really important. Stain, plus ultra 2 increased the back gap. Okay, so he made they made his plus ultra 2 more punishable on block. Interesting, was it safe before? I've never know. I've, I've never <laughs> done it in a situation where anyone blocks it, but... Yeah, anyways, that's not really important. Uh, muscular. Oh, this was an interesting one, if I remember correctly. So his Quirk special one, which is where he, like, charges up and stuff. <laughs> Higher angle tracking of up and down for the maximum charge in midair. So I guess if he's doing it in the air, if the opponent's above or below him, they, he can hit him in those angles. So I guess it had some weird hitbox issues. So I guess it's good that that's fixed. Quirk Special 2, which is where he does the um, tilt attack and has like the three different levels depending on how much muscle he has on. Um, <laughs> adjusted so that it would be difficult to inertia when attack begins. And uh, if I remember correctly, inertia is an object's ability or an object's tendency to resist change in movement, whether it's still or moving. Hey Siri, what's inertia? Inertia is the resistance of any physical object to any change in its velocity. This yeah. includes... Okay, so what I said. What is they referring to here? I have literally no idea. Does that mean maybe he has armor? So, like, if someone does an attack, it's not going to be moved by the attack. Maybe he has armor. I can't actually play the game right now, so I can't test any of these things. So I'm, I'm in the dark at the moment. But yeah, maybe he has armor. Or maybe he just doesn't move when he does them. So, whatever. Uh, quirk Special 3, so that's his Quirk 2. Um, faster cancel timing from the second stage. Oh, that's, that, oh, thank goodness. That was, that was probably one of the most frustrating things about Muscular. Um, his Quirk 2, you know, that's where he does, like, the launch himself in the air and then launch himself back down onto the opponent. Um, which is a really good, like, it was already really good, you know, uh, for, like, dodging projectiles and ending combos and stuff for wall splats. But for some reason, like, 80% of the time, once you hit the first part of it, and you go for the second one, the second one just completely misses and the opponent can recover. But hopefully this is, makes it so it, they fixed it and it comes out faster. <laughs> so that's really good. Um, his unblockable, so that's his like, you know, guard attack where he does a red attack. Um, um, moving to attack further away when tracking. So I guess he just reaches further. Uh, sidekick attacks, I oh, God. So I guess he moves faster on the ground, like he moves further, and but he has less tracking. Okay, shoot style Deku, uh, he's quirk one, which is where he like he does the kick and then like brings them to the ground, adjusted for the hit to be stable, I don't know, maybe it was inconsistent, didn't hit them properly, whatever that means, it's more stable now. <laughs> and his sidekick attack, uh, better tracking, low amount of damage, and... More reload time, that's interesting, because I didn't really think anyone cared about that support and didn't think it was any good, but now it's even slower. Okay, Endeavor. Endeavor received the nerf everyone was asking for. Uh, his mid-air counter-attack, so his yellow attack or tilt attack in the air, can now be easily avoided by doing a sidestep or even just running. But uh, yeah, that's good, because a lot of time they just do a random ye uh, yellow attack to, you know, push you away instantly again, and his, his Quirk Special 2, which is his Tilt Quirk 1, where he throws the spear, it has reduced knockback, so like when you guard it, it used to push you like really far, like almost half the screen just because you blocked it, but now it doesn't push you as much, which is great, and it doesn't stun as much on block, so it's, you can 
after you block it, um, it doesn't hold you in the block animation for as long, so it's probably more punishable. So like as soon as you block it, it barely pushes you back, and you can attack a lot quicker after it. So that's really good. Mirio got nothing. I don't know. What does that even say? Churining. Maybe that means tracking, but <laughs> higher tracking and churining performance. Nejure, plus Ultra 1 does more damage in a combo. That's pretty good. Um, especially since it's kind of hard to hit in a combo. <laughs> uh, sidekick attack is a bit slower. I mean, a bit, uh, bit quicker to come back. Uh, less tracking of her projectiles. and But she turns faster in the midair. So I guess she like shoots them more accurately in dire their direction. But they don't track as well. Like if they move after she's shot them. Okay, oh my god, what is happening here? <laughs> um, anyways, uh, Tamaki is tar target combo. Ch uh, change to not be able to derive to counterattack unless it hits. So I assume, assume, because I can't play right now, but that this means that he can't cancel into his uh, his tilt attack, or his counterattack, or his yellow attack, whatever you call it, unless on hit. And I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I think it's a bad thing, because if he does like a few hits, he can't cancel it into his yellow attack on lock for some pressure and then cancel the yellow attack into something else. So yeah, don't really know what's going on there. But his unblockable, this is a big change. Um, change to be able to block the second stage attack. So if you remember Tamaki's red attack, he like gets his bird talons and like kicks up and then like comes down and grabs them. And previously both the kick up and the grab were unblockable and it was super hard um, to avoid. Like you could sidestep the first one and then the second part would hit you and punish the sidestep. It was crazy. But now you can actually block the second part of it. And the second stage even hits short characters. So, you know, it's been got a little bug fix here, but it's also um, a lot less ridiculous because you can actually block the second part. Okay, Mina, target combo, lost holding down in the first stage of air attack. I don't know, some fix with her. The last part of her target combo. Um, Mid-air counterattacks. Oh yeah, so her tilt attack in the air um, can be more easily avoided by doing, I don't know, sidestep or just walking. So it doesn't have this great tracking. And easily derive quirk special 3. So a quirk 2. Can you already do that very easily? You can easily cancel her yellow attack into her quirk 2 breakdance thing, but whatever. And quirk special 2, which is where she throws the acid puddles. Um so that the opponent won't get stuck to the ceiling. Do they mean wall splat? Because that didn't happen, but whatever. <laughs> okay, Mineta adjusted to easily avoid by taking an- oh, his, oh, his mid-air counterattack, just like Mina's, it has less um, ridiculous tracking, especially since his like travels the entire screen. It doesn't like curve and go towards the opponent as well. Um, the plus ultra one, I don't know, it's just got some better like some bug fixes, you know, better, slightly better tracking at the last hit and something. Sidekick, sidekick plus ultra, oh yeah, the same thing. And, uh, sidekick attacks, he does more damage in midair. High damage from women on the ground, lower damage from men on the ground. What even is his science up? I can't even think of it. But anyways, <laughs> okay. It has a different damage on men and women. And higher uh, following performance, sidekick attack on the ground. Yeah. So you can just track them down better. Kami just got a bug fix. You know how there was that new bug where, I don't know, her combos like did weird reset damage that didn't work and stuff. But yeah, they fixed that. That's all. So everyone can... I don't know why everyone dropped Kami suddenly, but, you know, because of that one bug. But now it's gone, so everyone can play her again. <laughs> Seiji lowered the guard performance of the bullet. Which is quirk one, where he launches those. Okay, they didn't really track that much if I don't remember correctly, but anyways. So night eye target combo shortens the back gap of the first and second stage. So um, the first part of his hit, um, normal combo and the second hit both have less recovery frames, so they're a little safer and they can be cancelled earlier. Quirk special one, which is where he throws the stamps. Higher angle tracking. Oh, okay, that's pretty good because they we're not very good at hitting the opponent. Like, you can just, like, walk slightly sideways and he'd miss with us. So that's pretty good. Uh, his quirk 2, shorten the back gap so it's more safe. Oh! Wait! That's, um, his quirk 2 on the ground. So that's his parry. 
you know, where he like does a, and then if he hits you, that he gets to do like the foresight thing. But it used to be so awfully punishable because like he'd do it and then he stops and he stands there for like a whole second and the opponent can punish them. But now there's less of that and it's less punishable. That's great. And his tilt quirk too, which is where he does, I don't know, those ninja sidestep sweep things. Um, they can be more easily avoided. Gang Orc got a lot of changes. Um, so yeah, his target combo just does a little bit more damage and cannot be cancelled into Quirk Special 1. And um, yeah, I don't really know why. Or maybe change to not cancel. Maybe that's his, um, if you're on normal settings, his automatic combo. Maybe it has a different combo route, but yeah. Anyways, his counterattack. I don't know why they nerfed his counterattack, but basically it has less tracking. Uh, it's less, it's more difficult to combo correct and harder to force the opponent to take down mid-air counterattack. I don't really know what those second two mean, but they've nerfed his counterattack in three ways, which I thought was pretty unusual. Um, his tilt quirk one, which is where... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's his, like, his yellow attack where, you know, he charges up and does the big, like, sonic boom thing. Um, increases... Oh, increase the combo scaling of the normal time on the ground charge in each ground state. Oh, that's pretty weird. Uh, so it scales more, but low and lowers the amount of plus ultra cage. That's weird. Why are they giving him nerfs? So it gives him less plus ultra meter and it scales more when you do the tilt quirk one. Um, his quirk one, uh, which is where he launches the thing, I guess is to easily do the inertial movement in midair. So I guess it pushes him backwards, I think is what they're referring to there. Just so that it will be difficult to force down. Does that mean it's going to be difficult to get a wall splat? Cause this, but isn't that the point of this move? Anyways, shorten the back gap so it's safer. That's pretty good. Um, huh. Added cancel to Quirk Special 4. So does that mean you can cancel into the Quirk 1? You can, if he does the Quirk 1, where he like launches the little bowl thing, he can cancel it into his Tilt Quirk 2. And then go into a combo from there. Ah, and I guess that's why... They said you can't cancel into his that thing, because then you'd be able to do two attacks into the Quirk 1, into the Tilt Quirk 2, but I guess just if you hit it in the neutral, then you can go into the Tilt Quirk 2. Okay. And then the Charged 1, Higher Attack, Judgment. I don't know, it has a bigger hitbox, I assume that means, so it it's just bigger and more likely to hit the opponent. Higher maintaining time of the bullet. Oh wow, that's really cool, so it stays out for longer. And already It already stayed out for pretty long, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can't hit people twice, multiple times, big characters. Um, extend the rigidity time of the damage. Wow, oops. Uh, so yeah, it stuns them for longer. That's pretty cool. So I guess if you, because if it's out for longer, it'll probably be able to hit the opponent from further away. So now when it hits them from really far away, you'll have time to run up and get a combo. That's pretty cool. Uh, his quirk two, shorten the back gap when missed. Okay, that's fine because it was really punishable. But just it'll be difficult to take Force down. Does that mean it's hard to get a wall split? I don't understand. That's the point of that move. And tilt quirk two, lower the damage, but decrease the scaling. So it does, because it used to do a huge chunk of damage, but also do a lot of scaling. So all attacks that came after it would do a lot less damage. Now it does a bit less damage, but also has less scaling. So attacks will do more damage after it. So yeah, that's, that's okay with me. And it'll be difficult to take force down. I don't know. It doesn't, maybe it means it doesn't meteor blow a combo as quickly or something. Okay, fat, fat gum. The ca ground counter attack, his, yeah, okay, his yellow attacks on the ground. Not lose to the opponent for a certain time after it. Okay, I guess they're just a bit better and they're harder to sidestep or something. Anyways, the cool stuff is with his quirk special one though. So it has, uh, Higher moving distance and speed on the ground so it moves faster. Shortened the time to become super armored so it gets armored a lot quicker because it kind of used to be armored like halfway through the thing which was a bit weird. And this quirk special one is where he like kind of like launches himself at the opponent and added the derivation after the and derivation. Oops, what am I doing? No, oh, oops. Added the derivation after the hit. So that, and when they say derivation, they mean cancel. So you can cancel it 
into a counterattack, quirk, um, tilt quirk one or quirk two. That's pretty awesome. That I, I'm really intrigued to see where that goes. Um, his qu and for s slim gum or skinny gum, high movement to, uh, quirk special one. I still don't remember what that is. I think that's just some like punch thing. Um, better movement distance. Just the faster the, the cancel, cancels faster. Uh, okay, it's unblockable. Decrease the block gap. Overall revised. Okay, well, it sounds like they just buffed fat, um, skinny gum and fat gum as well. So it's probably a lot better now. I'm intrigued to see these um, buffs come into play. I'm, yeah, I want to try them out now. Okay, overhaul. <sighs> Increase the back gap of second stage in mid-air. Oh yeah, so these two changes to his target combo and shorten the damage rigidity of second stage in mid-air. These are essentially meaning, so it'll have more recovery frames when you do his attack string in the air, his air attack string, and it also won't uh, stun and like bounce the opponent for as long when you do it, which I assume is fixing the thing where he could do like his attack string and then just do like a sidestep or a jump or a late dash into another attack string and it actually combo and you can do it like three times um, to add damage. So I'm assuming you can't do that anymore. And counter attacks, it's faster in the air. Cool. Rapa, sides kicks a bit slower. Rip. Twice his, um, oh yeah, just like same thing with uh, Toga before. Sometimes when he transforms, it was on quick, even though it's hold, so yeah, they just fixed a bug. Shigaraki, which, okay, first, I don't even know which one they're talking about. Like, is it V1 or V2? Or it's a picture of V2, so I guess, yeah. Um, just as it will be easier to hit using, oh, so for his sidekick attack, hit ground attack when they're in the air, yeah, whatever. So his sidekick can hit them in the air a bit better now. But why did, how do they not nerf this guy? Have you guys, he's got like, what is it, 12,000 damage combos for free. Like, you can just do a few hits into his Tilt Quirk 2, and then do the running Tilt Quirk 1 thing, and then grab them again, and he throws them with the Tilt Quirk 2, and there's a Tilt Quirk 1 right now after them, and he's got these easy goddamn combos to do 12,000 do damage for free. So, like, he's so terrifying. And also, his, like, Quirk 1 projectile is so fast, so I'm... <sighs> he's totally in S-plus tier right now. Up with Gran Torino. Like... Oh, this guy's ridiculous. 100% um, Deku. He got the nerfs that I think we were expecting to come out in the first patch. But uh, he's getting them now. And this actually makes me kind of excited. Because I've re always really wanted to play 100% Deku. But I always felt so cheesy for using him. And, and so guilty for using like such an OP character. But I'm actually going to be playing him a lot more now that he's more normalized. But um, his Tilt Quirk 1, which is where he does those um, kick projectiles... He doesn't get as much um, plus ultra gauge when he does them, and they don't track the opponent up and down. So when he does a super huge weird kick, it doesn't actually go up and down to follow the opponent, so that you can just jump over them. So they're a lot easier to avoid. Quirk special 3, so that's his quirk 2. Lowered the recovery amount of plus ultra, so he doesn't get as much plus ultra meter, and it scales a bit more. Uh, his tilt quirk 2, which is those red grabs, Lowers the speed in air. Oh, yeah, thank God. Have you guys... Did you see how fast that was in the air? He, like, zooms a halfway across the screen, like, halfway across the map, and grabs the opponent, like, instantly, and gets a combo from it for free. Like, what the, That was ridiculous. I'm fine with that being nerfed. And... Uh, but his sidekick was actually buffed. Um, instead of the regular kick, he does the um, supercharged one. So that's pretty cool. And Nomu. It's plus ultra one. I don't know. It's fixed slightly. All of them hit a bit. Yeah. And uh, finally, yeah, because that's just some random thing about what? Yeah, health consumption. What? That already happened. Someone tell me what this means in the comments. Doesn't that already happen? You use half if it's when you're not getting comboed, but whatever. But for Hawks, Hawk, but add an S, please. Um, his target combo. Uh, shorten the, the back gap, so the recovery frames from the first hit, so the first hit's a bit safer. That's pretty good, because it used to actually be pretty unsafe. So you can now do the first hit, and hopefully it's safe. Um, I don't know time you need to take a step of the first 
stage attack in mid air. Um, okay, maybe his just attacks a bit faster in the air. Um, increase the guard rigidity time of the first attack in mid. Oh uh, yeah, so his um attack in the mid air, it like used to like not stun the opponent at all. So like as soon as he hit them, they can just instantly attack back. But now it'll actually have some guard stun. Um, his counter attacks uh, a little safer on the ground. That's pretty cool. His quirk. So his tilt quirk one, higher tracking. Oh, cool! Yes, yes. So that's where he like launches out those really slow feathers. It'll go like zoo, zoo, side to side and stuff. And now they have better tracking, and that that makes sense to me because that was kind of their purpose. You know, you throw them out and they're slow, and then like if the opponent's far away, they track onto them and can get a combo. But they used to like never hit. But if they have better tracking now, that's really great. And his tilt quirk two, which is where he like. Zooms, <laughs> like, I don't know, he goes, he does, he goes red, but it's not an unblockable and he just like flies towards them and you can't cancel unless it hits. This is actually, sounds like a nerf, but it's actually a buff and makes his combos a lot easier because if you remember my combo videos, one of the hardest part about his combos is like when you do the two hits into the yellow attack and then cancel the yellow attack into the uh, tilt quirk two and you have to wait for the tilt quirk two to like just hit and then cancel it into the tilt quirk one. But now you can do the tilt quirk group, um, to and just you know be mashing the tilt quirk one and when it hits he'll cancel into the tilt quirk one and it won't cancel early it makes his combos easier but yeah that's all the changes guys i hope you enjoyed the video and overall what do i think about the uh the bug fixes i think this is actually this is a lot better than the first patch <laughs> i think everyone can agree that because they actually changed things so, you know, any change is better than no change. Oh, well, um, better not say that, but <laughs> sometimes better change is, some change is better than no change. But yeah, I think they were nearly, if they properly f fixed Gran Torino, I think this would have been a great patch. And if they also nerfed a bit of um, uh, V2 Shigaraki, it would have been great, but yeah.